Good morning, everyone. It's about five o'clock in the morning and I'm about to set off on a journey. Got my little bag packed here. I don't know when I'll be back, but it's New Year's Eve today and I'm gonna ring in the new year with a very long, epic run. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right, so I've got the route roughly planned out. I'm gonna start from here, do a massive loop, and be back by after dark. <laughs> Okay, so this has been a very slow pace. As you can see, there's nowhere to run on this road. There's cars coming and I'm having to slide off on this slippery, wet, stodgy grass. That's like running through sand, but I just want to be safe. So I've got my head torch on, but as you can see, big trucks and stuff are coming down this road. So I just want to be careful. So I'm going at a very slow pace at the moment. It's very annoying. Look at this both sides and there's nowhere to run i probably wouldn't want to come this way next time it's very hilly and there's nowhere to run it's not very safe so i'm just going to keep banging it out hopefully the pace picks up as we go all right we're at 25 k's in i don't know if you can see that there but the sun is actually up but it's so foggy here and cold can't see anything i'm one quarter of the way in to my um, 100 kilometer run. Uh, I sm absolutely smashed it on the, the Stairmaster yesterday for two hours. So my legs are still kind of fatigued. Going for two hours on the Stairmaster. Vegan protein deficiency, mate. My ankles are starting to feel it and my knee is starting to feel it. But I don't want to give any excuses. I just want to keep banging it out. So I just want to remind you that I've got minimal training under my belt. I uh, ran my first marathon four months ago, three or four months ago, and I hadn't ran for about two years before that. So doing this all on a vegan diet and just sheer will, and there's cars coming, so I've got to move out into the stodge. That's why my pace obviously is a little bit slower. But uh, I think this pace is good. If I keep it up at this pace, um, I should hopefully be back in another nine hours. <laughs> So, all right, I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna have some dates and a gel, a bit of water, and uh, see if we can bang out the next 25 Ks. I might have to put on some motivational music. Let's do this. Hello, bubbies. We got some sheeps here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, family. Hello, darlings. <laughs> Always enough time to say hello to the sheeps. <laughs> oh, beanie beanies. How do people eat sheep? So gorgeous. Beautiful. Got a first little town here. Melton Malbro. We're at marathon um, distance now. Uh, gonna have another little break at halfway, which will be 50 k's. Let's do it. Uh, and I'm looking for uh, some water. Um, there's just a big dairy farm there. I can't see no tap there though. But you know how many, how much water dairy farms use. But yeah, I just uh, there's a long run, big hill up there. But I, I'm out of water. I'm gonna try to do it though. I'm um, going to have to, I can't see a tap. Alright, I found some at the back of this house, thank you. Thank the Lord. Okay, now I'm going to try to do this big hill. Nearly halfway. Got to go up that big hill there. It doesn't look very high, but it's, uh, it's quite a climb there. I'm going to get to the top of that hill. Let's do it, then I can have some food. We're nearly there. Nearly at the top of the hill. Woohoo! All right, that's, the, that's where I got the water from, that barn. 
all the way down there. That's where that dairy farm was. That's where I come up. Woo! All right, here we are. We're 50 kilometers in. It's been six and a half hours. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the pace. I'm just respecting the distance, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not stopping. I'm just, what I'm doing every five kilometers, I'm doing some squats just to uh, get the blood running through my legs, uh, stretch out a little bit. I'm trying to chunk it out in five kilometer chunks. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a beginner runner, so I'm not experienced in this. I don't really know that much about ultra running. Having a couple of gels. Mm. The reason I'm having gels and not fruits and vegetables, obviously I can't carry fruits and vegetables with me. I had a big handful of dates. Dates are full of fiber, very compact, and they've got a, a great nutrient spectrum, but I can only carry so many dates. So I've got gels and dates, and the next town I'm gonna to get some more food. I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good, mate. I haven't died of protein deficiency yet. But you know, there's still time. You never know. Six years vegan. Um, just decided to be an ultra runner in the space of four months. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to become too cocky because I'm only halfway. So I just want to stay in respect of this type of distance running. This is completely solo and unsupported, as you can see. I'm by myself. I'm going to keep moving and finish these gels and then try to chunk out the next uh, 25 kilometers. Let's do it. There's another big ass hill right here. Just when you think it's over, there's another hill you gotta cross. That's what I mean, never get complacent. There's always another hill to climb. Use that analogy for life, hey. Just when you think you're at the top of the hill, you got another one to climb. Keep pushing yourself. Wow. Look at this beautiful lake. Beautiful. I'll, I'll get you a better look at it. It's so beautiful. There's the sun. Beautiful lake. England is just a beautiful country in many ways. The countryside's beautiful. Pity there's so many animals being exploded across the countryside though, but beautiful lakes like that. It's amazing. Here it is. This is a cemetery. We're all gonna die. My father died in my arms. I, he, I was the last person he's seen before he faded away in the hospital bed. We're all going to die. I'm gonna die, you're gonna die. And if that isn't motivation enough for you, I don't know what is. If you don't have an impending sense of your own demise, then you're not gonna act in a way that's going to fulfill you in your life. What sort of legacy do you wanna leave behind? Let go of fear, because we all end up there in the end. Don't let fear hold you back. You don't wanna be on your deathbed with any regrets. So let's do this. The sun's coming down. 68 k's in. We're nearly three quarters of the way there. Let's hit it. Saw the sun rise, and I'm still running as the sun is setting. Now ain't that a good feeling? That's what life's all about, eh? <laughs> Nothing else comes close to this feeling. Amazing. Ten hours in, 75 kilometers um, down. I've got another 25 kilometers to go. Feeling like I can do this, hey. Suffering is only temporary, but quitting, may you remember that shit forever. So, an amazing thing Fiona said, Fiona Oaks, world record holding marathon runner, with running, we're, we're making a choice to suffer and we, can, we, we have the freedom to make that suffering stop. We can stop at any time. But animals who are being enslaved and exploited and killed for food, 
they are forced into suffering and they have no choice. They can't make that stop. So it's something to think about. Also, while I'm suffering, I think of the suffering my father went through when he was sick. So I know that um, we can put ourselves through more suffering than we think. I'm actually feeling better at the end of the run than I did at the start of the run. How crazy is that? Well, it's not the end of the run yet. <laughs> I've still got a half marathon to go. Sun's nearly down. I ran from dark to dark. Let's hit it. Never give up. Okay, it's freezing cold and pitch black. Sorry if the camera's a bit foggy. I'm just having a little, some naked bars, uh, some little um, fruit and nut bars. Um, it's about 83 kilometers in. I've got about <laughs> 17 k's to go. I've been running for 11 hours or so. So I'm just gonna have another gel. I'm starting to get quite hungry. So I'm gonna try to bang this last part out. Woo! Let's do this. All right, I just stopped at the gas station, got some vegan flapjacks and uh, a Lucas Aid. And now I'm back off, let's do it. All right, we're about, we're 90 Ks in now. I've got exactly a 10 K to go. So we're on the home stretch guys. Let's do it. All right, 94.7 Ks in. Got about five kilometers to go. <clears throat> My legs and quads are absolutely dead. Um, I'm really feeling it right now. So I'm hoping that if I have some carbohydrates, it might go straight to my legs and give them that last boost that I need. But I am absolutely, you know, in a, I'm in a bit of pain right now, but we're gonna keep pushing because there's not far to go. What an achievement. If I get through this, I'll be really happy. So let's do it. All right, here we are. 99 Ks in from the last kilometer. Woo! One more kilometer to go, and then it's victory. Vegan victory. Oh my God. How crazy is this? 100 kilometers on the vegan diet. Nearly there. Oh, see what's possible if you believe in yourself. Let's do this. Woohoo, come on. Not long to go now. Oh, these little feet push along the little vegan footsies boom literally another 30 meters 20 meters come on my legs are very sore right now oh come on 10 meters oh my god there we go i just ticked over 100 kilometers in 13 hours and 36 minutes. Oh my God. That is a really good feeling right now. I didn't give up. I didn't quit. I kept pushing through. I did this on New Year's Eve because this is a way to set the year 2020 I'm gonna attack 2020 like I just attacked that 100 kilometer run. I just turned myself into an ultra runner in four months on minimal training, on a vegan diet. Oh my God. All right, there we go, I'm back. Back in civilization, back in the household. That was a journey. That was really hardcore. The longest run I had done before this one was the 55K Ultra that I did. Now, if people don't believe you can recover on a vegan diet and do these ultra endurance feats, why have I improved? Why have I improved now I can do this 100K run? I've obviously improved in a short amount of time in my running. So there you go. What more do I need to do to prove that vegan diets are completely fine for athletes. Um, four months ago, I hadn't even 
ran a marathon. Now I'm doing these, uh, I'd say I've classed myself as an ultra runner in four months. So I think it's gonna be a fair while before I do something big like that again. It's New Year's Eve and uh, we're getting ready to go out. I'm about to take off my sock for the first time. Let's see what it looks like on my foot. Ooh. It looks very wrinkly, but it doesn't look too bad. Oh wait, what's that in between there? Hmm, they look like old men feet. <laughs> okay, so I'm really sorry for this, but my right one has blisters all over it, so there you go. I'd like to dedicate that run to Tower Hill Stables. Um, Fiona Oaks is just an amazing uh, human being who dedicates her life to putting herself through suffering in her running um, to to prove that you can, you know, be a endurance athlete without harming animals. So I'll leave the link to the sanctuary down below and maybe if you could put in a quid for every kilometer that I run, that would be really good. <laughs> that would feed a lot of the animals for a few weeks though. Thank you so much, everyone. All right, I'm gonna lie down for one sec because my head's a little bit fizzy after just doing nothing but do 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 running. Oh God, love you all, happy New Year's. Okay, here I am the next morning. This is our oat bran, berries, flax, mashed banana, and I'm feeling pretty good. So I don't look that bad, but I got up out of bed and I'm standing up and I can squat up and down. <laughs> Oh, I don't feel that bad. I feel much more recovered than I did like my last marathon, my last ultra, and I ran twice as long. So yeah, there you go. Berries for recovery, vegan diet, good for ultra running. Don't be silly. I even made it to a New Year's party last night. That's how much energy I still had. I was trashed. Here I am, the next day walking. Went to the shops to get some more food, some vegan food for recovery. Lots of berries, lots of grains I'm, I'm actually my feet have some blisters on them but yeah just to show that i'm not completely ruined and that i'm recovering faster now from bigger runs boom okay so this is the second meal post run of the day i've had another little nap and look at this Whoa, beans wholemeal bread tofu and vegetables and the potatoes yum and of course don't forget ever forget the ketchup. <laughs>